Hello, I'm here today with a lesson on our division board, which is a material we would have in our classroom. It's a wooden board. It comes with lots of little green beads and it comes with little figures we call skittles. They look like um, little chess pieces, little pawns. Um, but I don't expect you to have those exact materials at home. So I wanted to show you how to do this work with materials you would have at your house. I have put a printout of the division board in our weekly work file. This looks pretty similar um, to the wooden board we have at school. So if your child has worked with this material, they would recognize it. Instead of little green beads, I have dried pinto beans. You're just gonna wanna find something little that you have an abundance of so that your child can count. Instead of our Skittle pieces, I have little Lego figurines. You can use um, Shopkins or little animal figurines, um, rocks if you wanted to, just anything that's a little bit bigger than what we're gonna use to count with. Um, and you wanna have about nine of those if you wanna do our biggest numbers on the board. And we've been doing multiplication and addition over the last um, few weeks. And so we work with numbers and we add them together. We multiply them and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If we multiply a number three times, it's three times bigger. Well, division is just the opposite. We're gonna divide into that number and make it smaller. If we have a number and we divide into it three times, you'll see it get three times smaller. Okay, so we're gonna learn how to do that today. And the best way to learn is by doing it. I'm gonna show you how you can do this at home. Okay, All right, first equation, start with a smaller one. It says six divided by two. And we call the first number our dividend and our second number, our divisor. So our first number, our dividend, is how many beans I'm going to count out. How many little small objects you're going to count out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And our second number, our divisor, is how many of our figurines we're going to put at top. One, two. Six divided by two. We want to make sure each of our figures gets an equal number of beans, the same amount. So let's start off by giving them one each. One. We still have beans left. We can give them another. We each have two. Still have some left. Beans will stick to my fingers. There we go. I am all out of beans. They each have an equal amount, and that is one, two, three. One, two, three. Six beans divided by two friends equals three beans. They each get three beans. Let's try it again. A little bit bigger of a number. Put my figures aside. Put my beans back. I'm gonna try 15 divided by five. So our first number, our dividend is 15. Let's count out 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And our divisor is five. So I wanna put up five of my Lego friends up here. One, two, three, four, Remember, we want to give them equal amounts of beans in my case, okay? So let's start with giving them one each. Okay. 
each of them have one and I still have some left. Let's give them another. They each have two and I still have some beans left. Out of beans, they each have one, two, three. Fifteen divided five times equals three. See how each of the five figurines each have three beans. 15 divided by five equals three. Do more of a challenge here. Figurines. I'm gonna do a little slide here. I'm gonna get my beans in the middle and let them slide back into the bowl. A little bit of bigger one here. 24 divided by four. We're gonna, our dividend is 24. That's how many we're gonna count here. And this is where skip counting can come in handy. Why don't we try counting by twos to 24? We'll go quicker than counting by units. Let's try it. Two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. I have my 24 beans and I need four Lego friends. One, two, three, four. Okay, I need to give them an equal amount of beans. Start with one each. Two each. Three each. Still have beans left. Five. Still have some beans. I'm out of beans. They all have the same amount. And that amount is six. 24 beans divided by four friends. They each get six beans. 24 divided by four equals six. We'll do one more together here. Do a little bit. A bigger one again. Oops, let's clean up this one. Do my slide again. Into the middle. Slide in. Okay. Last one together. 36 is our dividend divided by four. So let's count our 36 out first. 36 is a lot to count. I can think of it as three tens and six units. I can count out three rows of 10 to make 30. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, 12, 30. Six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 20, 30, six. So let's put those 36 beans in my little cup here. A lot of them. Okay, and our divisor is four. So I need four of my Lego friends back here. You know, we can make something fun. We can say, these are beans. These are Pokemon cards. And I have four friends and I wanna give them the same amount of Pokemon cards each so it's fair. How many Pokemon cards do each of my four friends get? Let's figure it out. Start with one card each. Lots of beans left. Lots of beans left. Feeling very generous with my Pokemon cards. Make sure they each get the same amount. It's nice and fair. Seven cards each. Still have beans left. a few left. Okay, I've passed out all my Pokemon cards. I started with 36 Pokemon cards and I've divided them between four friends equally. Each friend gets nine Pokemon cards. So each friend has nine beans. 36 divided by four equals nine. Okay. Lots more division problems in your work file if you wanna keep practicing, or maybe you can think of some in your own. It's fun to make up different stories and scenarios. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how you can do your division board at home. As always, let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.